What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep it Techie, and if you're into Linux or just curious about diving into the tech world, you're in the right place. And today I've got something exciting to share with you guys. We're taking a look at the latest release of Catchy OS, and this is the June 2024 edition. I heard this release is packed with a lot of cool new features and improvements that I think you'll find pretty awesome. So sit back, relax, and let's explore what Catchy OS has to offer this time around. So I'm at catchyos.org. And of course I'll have the link down in the description of the video. But if we go over to the blog page, this will talk about the June 2024 release. And instead of reading this word for word, I'll just run down all the highlights of this article. And just from all the new features that I've seen, this is the seventh release this year. And the developers have really outdone themselves with some fantastic updates. And first off, We've got support for the T2 MacBook in the default catchy edition. And this is huge for those of you with a T2 MacBook wanting to run Linux. The hardware detection takes care of most of the setup, though you'll need to follow some guides to get the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth working due to Apple's firmware restrictions. Now, one of the standout features in this release is the new catchy Chiroot script. And this handy tool guides you through the Chiroot process and ensures your partitions are mounted correctly, especially if you're using BetterFS. Speaking of BetterFS, it's now the default file system replacing XFS. I don't know if you guys remember that from the last time I looked at Catchy, but you still have the option to use XFS or other file systems if that's your preference. Now, for those with NVIDIA graphics card, there's good news. The required services for proper sleep functionality and NVRidge settings are now enabled by default. And this fixes graphical issues when using sleep on Wayland. Plus the 555 driver with explicit sync support has been pushed, greatly enhancing the Wayland experience. Now, for all you handheld gamers out there, the Catchy OS Handheld Edition is officially stable. It's been tested on devices like the Steam Deck, the Legend Go, and ROG Alley, with plans to test more. And this version includes hardware detection and configurations tailored for these devices, making it a fantastic choice for gaming on the go. Now, one thing they've also done, the wiki page has been completely reworked with a new structure to provide more information. Some pages are still being completed, but the new layout should make it much easier to find what you need. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. In order to download it, let me show you guys. It's only two downloads. So we got a desktop edition. I believe the last time we went on here, I, I would have to go look at my old video just to see, but they had different editions that you could download. You could download the XFCE edition. Or what was the other ones? LXDE, Mate, Budgie. Now it's one ISO. And then within the GUI ISO installer, you just select what desktop environment you want to install from there. But the default is KDE Plasma, which we'll look at today to see all the updates of that. And then here's that handheld edition. And like I said, it's now stable. So you guys can install it on your gaming devices. Now let's go down and hop over to my virtual machine so I can walk you guys through the quick install and look at a little bit more of the operating system. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So I'm booted up into the live ISO and let's walk through the installer right fast. As you can see, the desktop looks cool. I was thinking about switching to this on my laptop. I'm currently using Orch Linux on my laptop just like my main desktop system, but I might switch over to this because of how cool it looks. And I know you can fix your laptop to look this way, or you can install a different desktop environment and put everything on it to make it look like this. But I always like to just easily install it if I can and use it, you know, directly on some hardware. That way I can give you guys good reviews on it as well. But let's go down and launch the installer. 
all we have to do is hit launch installer that'll kick off the installer right fast all right and so let's quickly go through it so all we have to do is hit select your language hit next your location it automatically finds your location so i'll roll with that i'm in so los angeles is fine keyboard layout we just gonna roll with the defaults now let's set up our drive like i said it defaults to butterfs we're good to go it found our virtual hard disk right here and you can manually partition if you need to you can also if you need to and then select your bootloader location which it knows the default so let's go down and hit next there you can pick whatever desktop environment you want within the installer which is super cool so you got plasma which is the default gnome xfce budgie cinnamon i'm gonna roll with the kde version just so you guys can see their flagship version of the operating system so let's go down and press next there you can go through and select any additional packages that you want to install so if you do want more than one desktop environment you can put another one on there and then in the login screen you can pick what you want to play around with or what you want to use when you log into the system so you got the options there and so you can pick whatever you want there like you can also install like firefox or this firefox in the language pack if possible uh, you can expand it so you can see exactly what it's installing i'll select firefox that way we get that installed you can put printing support cups hp printers scanners extra packages for that and then that's all we want to select or that's all i'm going to select so let's hit next go down and create our account so i'll just name it josh and then we can leave it cache os x8664 which is fine and actually let's change that i want to take that off the end of it all right and then let's type in our password right fast i'll just put in something super simple and then i'm glad this is unchecked log in automatically without asking for the password you never want to select that and then also you want to use the same password for the administrator account that's fine hit next there this is a summary and then it's going to go through and install so let's hit install and i'll come back when this finishes all right so the installation is complete and like i said you can look through the pac-man logs right there if you want to all you have to do is click this checkbox though and hit done and it'll restart our system and then we can log into it so i'll be back when it comes back up all right so now that we've got catchy os installed let's check out a few commands and applications to really see what this distribution can do so let me walk you guys through the start page that'll pop up it basically say thanks for joining the community and you have a lot of information here we've seen this during the installer i just wanted to show it to you but documentation you got your readme release information a wiki a link to the wiki support so the forum software or the project get involved you can also donate to this open source project this is an awesome project like i said so it's good to donate to these projects to keep them going apps and tweaks and then install applications you can turn this launcher off this will pop up every time you log into the system so you can turn it off if you want to and then you can also go back to it from the start menu but anyway let's go down in open open up our terminal right fast so let's type terminal it's called console i was actually gonna run neofetch but it automatically runs it is added to our dot file so it will run neofetch and pull up information so let's cover the kernel so it has linux 6.9.4-1 catchy os the packages we have on here is 1016 it uses pacman as the package manager it has the fish shell so 3.7.1 that's just display information but the desktop version is kde plasma 6.0.5 the window manager is quinn Wayland. the window manager theme breeze the theme is breeze so i like that the icon is breeze dork the fonts is noto sans 10 point let's see cursor the terminal is console 24.5.1 and then some hardware information there and let me show you guys what it do because it didn't i don't think i saw an option to set up the swap size if we wanted to or turn on swap or add swap to the system typically when you go in and configure the drives it'll have swap that you could put in there but that might have been under the manual and then our disk is better at fast and then also our local ip this is cool it's got a little bit more expanded information from neofetch now really the first thing i like to do is update the system so let me show you guys how to update it right fast so if this is your first time doing this this is how you update the system you have to type sudo pacman is the package manager 
and then dash capital S and then Y and then U. And this will run through and update our system. It'll ask us for our pseudo password. If you have received the usual lecture from your local systems administrator. Usually boils down to three things, respect the privacy of others, think before you type, but with great power comes great responsibility. For security reasons, the password you type will not be visible. So that only pops up every time first you use the pseudo command. So let's go and press enter and it'll sync the repositories. Just check for updates and let's see what we got here. Oh, it didn't have any updates. So there's nothing to do. That's easily how you update the system. Just wanted to show you guys that. And also the Pac-Man command is very powerful. I know we've seen it up here, like how many packages or install. And I use Orch on a daily basis, but you can use commands like Pac-Man dash capital Q, and this will give you the installed packages on the system. And a lot of times when I do like my reinstalls or something like that, I'll export this out to a text file and then you can run it through Pac-Man to install all the applications applications again that you want on the system and then also with the AUR as well you can do the exact same thing get the AUR packages write them out to a text file and then call it through Pac-Man and install everything back to the system the way you had it and then of course you got to make sure you got a copy of all your configuration files and everything under your home directory but everything should be set up right away once you install all the software that's back on there because you should have those directories under your home directory now since we're using better fs as our default file system let's check on the disk usage which we've seen it up there in neofetch let me show you a command right fast that'll give you that information so if you type sudo bt rf S and then file system and then DF and then let's look at the root directory. So let's press enter and boom. And essentially this command details information about your disk usage, leveraging the advanced features of better FS. So I want to go through and make sure I show things for people that may want to install it and how to actually use it. And one thing about catchy, what it does, it uses the FW command for the firewall. So I just wanted to cover a couple things that are dealing with security. So UFW, and then we can check the status of it. So press enter. I know I've showed you guys this in Ubuntu, but it's used in a lot of other distributions. So the commands are exactly the same. So sudo UFW, we can enable it since we're logged into the system. We're not connected to it via SSH, but yeah, you definitely want to turn on your firewall a majority of these Linux distributions come with the firewall turned off but i would recommend you turn it on and then let's say you want to have access to it via ssh so you can do ufw allow you can go 22 and then forward slash tcp and press enter and that'll add those rules there and we can go sudo ufw status again and we can see that rule is there so we get to go port 22 is open so in case we need to ssh into this system we can so i'm gonna exit out and just so you guys know this environment is super customizable widgets change the themes and tweak the workspace to your heart's desire and so one of the things i wanted to show you guys is the dolphin file file manager and one thing i wanted to show you guys is the split view that i thought was super cool i looked at it as well you can connect to different directories within that split view you can go around the operating system by using split and then you can also close it if you only want one open and then over here on the left you got all your areas you can go into like your network you can go to a samba server if you want to so share folders samba apple devices all that good stuff that you can connect to over your network now to install software so if you hit the start menu there is like a software center here so we type software that's catchy os package installer so let's open that up it's going to ask you for your sudo password and this will allow you to install your software now of course you can do this using your terminal which is how I recommend people that use like a Arch-based Linux or something that uses the Pac-Man package manager. You can install everything from there, but this is a GUI way of doing it. You can search for your packages, quickly install, like for instance, let's look for Chromium or something. So there we go, Chromium. And then they got the ungoogle Chromium. So you can use that one as well. Whatever you wanna use, just trying to think of something else. Let's see, like you can install like Libre or something, LibreOffice or something. Let's see what we got. So the fresh, 
you can install that branch, which contains new features and program enhancements or the maintenance branch, which is like the steel version. So this will get more updates faster. So we can hit the install and then you can look at the details of it and basically what it's going to install and then just hit OK and then it'll install it on your system. So I'll let it go through. You could do it all from the command line. We could have typed that package name in very simply and it would have done the exact same thing. If you need a GUI version, this is the simplest way to install things on the system as well as uninstall. Let's say you need to look at your repos. You can check out all the packages installed and then also if they have any updates to the system. You can update from here as well. So it's good to go. Now, lastly, let me show you guys something right here on the left hand side. There's a system setting button. You can go in here and search for it as well. It's under systems or settings, system settings. There we go. This is where you can customize your system. You can go in, make changes to the look of the system, wallpapers, all that good stuff is in here. Wi-Fi settings, your screen locking, how you want things to lock after a certain amount of seconds. Configure all of that. Application permissions. Uh, what else? You can look at, you know, about the system. You can add new users to it. All that good stuff is under here. You can customize the system as much as you want. Now that wraps up my quick look of the latest release of Catchy OS, the June 2024 edition. This update brings a ton of great features and improvements like I stated before, and it's making it an exciting time to be a Catchy user. And this is because of the better hardware support, improved performance, more user-friendly experience. There's definitely a lot to love in this release. And if you're new to Catchy or Linux, don't worry, the community is super supportive and there are plenty of resources to help you get started including the revamped wiki and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button leave a comment with your thoughts and consider subscribing to the keep the techie channel your support helps me keep bringing you the best linux content out there and if you want to support the catchy os project directly i believe they have a paypal and a patreon link every little bit helps them continue to improve and maintain this awesome distro so thanks for watching and until next time keep it techie